six years ago and we made a concerted effort at that time to uh, show improvements. Because Brookside for many years was kind of an underdog in the system. There was a time where teachers just went into their classrooms and closed the door and they didn't associate with anyone even on their own team. It was like their own little world. I'm doing this and I'm not sharing that and that's just an awful situation to work in. The answer was the teacher would say Geez, these kids can't do it. We can't give them hard work because they just can't do it. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle to turn that thought around, but eventually uh, they did. I think it starts from the top, Mr. Hay. He's done a great job of leading us, uh, making us reach for higher standards and having us impress it onto the kids as well. Probably one of the critical things that we did was simply say, our students can do better, to really believe that. He really has a way about him that is just he really coaxes people along in a very subtle way um, to jump on board with him. And to have someone acknowledge our achievements and acknowledge what we're doing and appreciate us as people. It's a good it book. Real, I think it has really just changed the whole atmosphere of this building. He knows that the teachers are competent and he lets the teachers do what they have to do to get the job done. He, sometimes he'll tell you what to do, but most of the times he'll throw it out there and he knows that people will step up and get the job done. Shared leadership basically takes place because you're willing to give up power. As an administrator, you have to recognize that they're the, all the people coming together is much more powerful than one person giving direction. The school now, we, it, it's not even like the kindergarten teachers or the first grade or second grade, it's the kindergarten team. It's the first grade team. We're all team players now. We share everything. And it allows people to come forward with new ideas and then uh, as a group you can embrace those ideas and decide do, is this what you really want. I say raise the bar. Uh, I've said it for six years now and uh, they kind of joke uh, with it because of my Boston accent but uh, they have raised the bar. With the cooperation of the teachers, the parents, the students that we were finally developing a community and really buying into what we need to do. The staff is talking the same language. Uh, the kids understand procedures from year to year that are very similar. I know that all the teachers here are working hard. Teachers here early, teachers here late, teachers here at nighttime. It, it's enjoyable to come to school, and I feel everybody in the staff really feels the same way. And the kids especially. You, when you come in the morning and you see kids, you'll see smiles on their faces, and that's important. That's how you know. That's how you know it's working, and that's what keeps you going.